Hello guys, me Carl Santos, I can't have the Carl Night 5, and I have some breaking news from yesterday, and there's going to be a World of Outlaws driver, or should I say, the master, the god, the king, Donnie Shots, a 10-time World of Outlaws champion, and once again, he's going to... Drive the number 17 little giant Ford for David Gillen and racing. So, what do I have to say, man? He's been on my radar since Kyle Larson, you know, raced him in somewhere in the early 2010s, you know. And all I can say is, I haven't heard of Donnie Shots as much because when I posted something on Facebook about him in one of the Facebook groups and the Kyle Larson's A Real Deal group, there were some mixed messages about who Donnie Shots really is and it, some of them are negative or some of them are, yeah, they have to be positive because, you know, there are some dirt drivers that sort of heard of him but basically the NASCAR fan base doesn't know much about Donnie Shots you know it's like putting Jeff Gordon and Tony Stewart in a Formula 1 and IndyCar seat when you know they really haven't had much training as far as how to drive the open wheel cars you know like Take Gordon or Stewart to Monaco and see if they can beat Lewis Hamilton or even Sebastian Vettel. Those two F1 stars. And, and then for IndyCar, make them go around in circles 200 laps around Indianapolis, you know, and make them speak or beat Scott Dixon or Helene Castroneves, who actually won the Indy 500 this year, so. So, what do I have to say about Donnie Shots' career? Well, he started becoming a World of Outlaws driver in 1997 and won Rookie of the Year, won an A main feature in 1998, and two decades later, or three decades if you want to mention the 90s, 2000s, 2010s, and now 2020s. He only has a mass 299 World Outlaws A Man feature wins, you know? And he's been going places, you know? He's probably given Kyle Larson some tips of how to get around these dirt tracks, you know? And I just went to one in Verona Speedway near the San Diego area in California. A few weeks ago and I had a blast seeing all the dirt cars you know especially the the sprint cars the dwarfs street stocks you name them those kind of dirt cars are amazing and I never had this much fun throughout this summer I mean if you're not a, if you're a NASCAR fan and want to learn about dirt be a Kyle Larson or a Donnie Schatz fan, you know, those two, they, they're really nice guys to hang out with if, if you want to get their autograph and take a picture with them, like, like a selfie, <laughs> I mean, I know I'm supposed to be reporting and doing these breaking news all that, I just want to be interactive and make you guys not get bored about Oh, who is Donnie Shots? You know? Really? Donnie Shots the, the man. It's that's why he wanted to focus on getting the most championships and wins over Steve Kinder, you know? And did you guys know that Steve Kinder tried to get his shot at NASCAR Cup Series in nineteen ninety five? Unfortunately, he couldn't, his full-time ride was just revoked and 
he wanted to move back to World of Outlaws, you know. And I think Donnie Strauss knows that if it's a bust, well, at least he had fun racing in the dirt in the Knoxville. I have to know the exact speed. I'll call it Knoxville Raceway or Speedway, whatever it is. So don't pass me on that if I <laughs> said the name of the racetrack wrong. So. So, if you guys have any suggestions or any tips of who Don Schatz is or whether or not he'll do well in the truck race, hey, share a comment right below the description and share some thoughts and feelings with the community and make them feel welcome. And also, give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on my bell icon button if you want to subscribe for more content. So, I'm AK Apricorn on i5. I hope this breaking news between Donnie Shots and him driving in a NASCAR truck series at Knoxville is well worth it. He's going to enjoy it. So, I'm AK Apricorn on i5. Y'all have a great evening and peace out.